Daily dairy cows across the United States and in neighboring states like Ohio are coming down with avian flu. And Fox 43's Robert Stover is joining us now with what experts are doing to stop the virus from spreading to Pennsylvania. Highly pathogenic avian influenza, or avian flu for short, is making its way onto dairy farms across the country. And while no confirmed cases have been reported in Pennsylvania, the state is taking every step to make sure that doesn't happen. Earlier this month, Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture issued a quarantine order placing restrictions on out-of-state dairy farms with avian flu cases. Grant Gulaban with Pennsylvania Farm Bureau describes the action as a preemptive effort to stop the virus from spreading to Pennsylvania dairy farms. The state is, through an abundance of caution, put in place movement restrictions on cattle coming from out of state and requiring pre-movement testing for any herds that might eventually make their way into Pennsylvania. The Farm Bureau has been watching the virus since it was identified in Texas. Dan Baumgartner, owner of Barron's View Farm in York County, first heard about the issue weeks ago. At that time, they didn't know it was bird flu. They just were t saying they were having trouble there in Texas and New Mexico with something that was causing problems in dairy cattle, but they didn't know what it was at the time. Avian flu isn't fatal to dairy cows, but can disrupt normal milk production. Wild birds called waterfowl can carry the virus and interact with dairy cattle accidentally. If you got cattle out on pasture, you know, they can they can come in contact with geese or ducks and but even in the barns I mean you got sparrows flying in now the barns and and sometimes an occasional pigeon. Despite the risk of infection to dairy cows, it's unlikely to transfer to people. Everything that's going through the pasteurization process that's going to kill viruses such as HPAI and make sure that that does not make its way into the milk or the dairy supply. The Farm Bureau encourages farmers to stay vigilant and report any unusual behavior from dairy cattle. If it, if it does come, I don't feel like it's an end all. Some cows do recover. You might have to sell others. Interesting, Robert. Uh, did the Farm Bureau say how long these restrictions could last? Well, unfortunately, there is no timeline since the Bureau and the Department of Agriculture are still continuing to monitor the spread of the virus, although they are providing updates for people online. We'll have a link to some of that information on our website, fox43.com. All right, Rob, thank you so much.